Hello, my lovely Capricorns, and a very warm welcome to you to your October 2022 horoscope forecast. This month and next month are big months because we're into eclipse season. And eclipses are powerful turning points, points in which your life can change irrevocably. So it's important to think carefully about what would I like to change? Where do I need to grow? What would I like to transform? It could be an intense time. But Capricorns, you're, you, you like lessons. You like learning. And you're strong. And you're resilient. And you're also a leader. So keep in mind that you may well be leading and helping others through what could be quite a choppy time. But when things are not so comfortable, that is when you grow the most. So don't look for comfort. Just say to yourself, well, even if this is uncomfortable, I'm going to grow, I'm going to learn, and I'm going to come through better than ever. Have an optimistic attitude, Capricorns. I know you don't always do that, but this will be very valuable to you, especially at this time, because it will help you to draw to you some positive people and situations. On the second of the month, Mercury goes direct, which is great, making travel, technology, communications generally much easier, potentially. If you need to sign important documents and deeds and get into negotiations, should be a lot easier. Although I will say because of the eclipses, just check things carefully, because there may be some wild cards on the horizon, but it still should be much easier in all those life areas. On the ninth of the month, we've got a full moon happening here in this fourth house, resonating with Jupiter. So some of you may be moving or wanting to relocate, relocate or thinking about living maybe even in a different state or country. You may be making changes to your home, your environment. Maybe changes happening with a family member. You may be moving a family member. You may be upgrading, repairing, renovating. Certainly some changes happening connected with your environment. I don't know if you can hear the dogs, but that's certainly a few changes happening here in this environment. I'm hoping you don't pick them up with, the, uh, with this uh, snazzy microphone, but you never know. On the 11th of the month, Mercury comes to join Venus and the Sun in this 10th house. This is a lovely combination of planets. They're very happy together vibrationally. Now, for some of you, this could be some good news about a career change a promotion, something about being seen more, being noticed, being appreciated. For others, you may be looking more at what's my purpose? What am I doing here? How can I have more meaning in what I do? And how can I shine more? Time to come out, time to be seen. Time to develop more of your gifts, the things that you love. It's very easy. Just follow what you love. Don't make it too difficult, Capricorns. You have a tendency sometimes it's not difficult. You don't feel as though you're achieving or doing something. But this, with this combination of planets, look for what gives you joy and follow that. And you'll be pleasantly surprised. On the 24th of the month, the sun and Venus come into this 11th house. On the 25th, the next day, we've got the new moon solar eclipse. And on the 30th, Mercury joins that little party of planets in this 11th house. So big focus on your friends, your social circle. An opportunity for some shifts there. Online as well as offline. You may be meeting a whole new set of new people. It may be time to release and let go an old set of people or people that really don't resonate with you anymore. Or you may be taking a group of people on a, a much higher, more elevated journey. But there's an opportunity for really meeting some powerful and amazing and inspiring people. And for you to be a teacher and inspirer 
of others. Mars is retrograde, still in this sixth house. So look carefully at what are you putting your time into? Are you using your time effectively? How do you feel at the end of the day? Capricorns, you need to feel as though you've accomplished something. So really reflect upon what you're spending your time on and whether you need to make some changes there in order to feel as though you've had a meaningful and productive day. So there you have it, my lovely Capricorns. I wish you a wonderful month. And I thank you for subbing, liking, sharing, and commenting. Bye for now.